Okay. Hi. Hello, everybody. Um, oh, we've got lots of people in the chat already. Let's hope I can see them. So Hilary is just getting ready. She's just got a sort of fin out. So it's just me for the moment. I'm just going to have a quick look at your comments. Probably easier. Let me know if you can hear me okay because I'm doing this off a laptop because I've got to do StreamYard. StreamYard requires a bigger computer than a phone. So that's that's why StreamYard's actually a pain in the ass. But it's the only way I know how to get anyone else on the channel. So we're on a laptop. Let me know if the sound is okay. I can see myself on the computer seems to be okay screen wise. So we've got Rich. Uh, David, Chris, Jimbo, and let's see who else is here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heather, hello Heather. We've all been having a lovely chat uh, off, off of here. Um, we've got Jackie, uh, and already the talk has gone to dinner, so Jackie's asking what Chris had for dinner. <laughs> it's always the way with us lot. Dinner, I've, I've had pizza, yeah, um, so I haven't been eating carbs up until today, and then um, having the day off, so ordered pizza, feel fat already, one pizza and like, my tummy's sticking out, and yeah, I'll start again tomorrow, but yeah. Um, let's have a little look then and see what your comments are. Uh, Chris said, sorry, I made Hill late. I cooked dinner and didn't let her leave until she ate. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. She'll be here. So let me know what your scent of the night is, everyone. Um, yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of comments already. And I can't really see them brilliantly on this this laptop I'm looking at. The writing's, like the, I say that, the writing's tiny. Um so let, um, my big screen is behind it. Uh, so Heather's got thunder and rain. Um, Dion is here. Uh, Katrin's here. Well, let me try and read this bloody writing on this. I don't know how I, if I could enlarge this writing. That would help. Tracy has just read this title. Yeah. Um, Oh, yes. Uh, hello. So Dion says hello to everyone. We've got DB70 Dave is here. And you can hear me okay. Uh, Jimbo says, Claire, you sound great and look fab. Thank you, Jimbo. <laughs> uh, Jane can he, says that like, she can hear me fine. JC Russell is here. Hi, JC Russell. Jackie, oh, Claire, you look so pretty. Your colour really brings out your eyes. Thank you. That's very kind. It's funny because I never would pick this colour for myself, but my friend actually, my friend Debbie, years ago, if I had this dress for donkey's years, she bought it for me and said, oh, I saw this and I thought you'd really like it or it would suit you. And I looked at the colour and I, I, I thought, well, that's nice, but I never wear that colour. And honestly, I get compliments when I wear this dress. And we know how much we like compliments. But yeah, I've had quite a few compliments in this dress. Uh, we have Arlise here. Hi, Arlise. And I think that might be all of you for the moment. So if you are in the chat, but you haven't said hi yet, if you're watching, you haven't said hi, you haven't signed in, there is, as you know, a health and safety requirement that you sign in. So you just need to do a little hello. You can do just an emoji if you want, but just let us know you're here just in case a fire breaks out or something like that. You know what year we're in, 2020, it's basically anything could happen. So we just need to know that you're in the building so that we can ensure your safety at all times. And do remember there's a two meter distancing rule and some hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer on the way in. Do ensure that you use a little squirt. And uh, Lizzie is here. Hi, Lizzie. Sybil, I'm wearing eau de marve blur today. Scent that grew on me. I only tried it briefly in the shop, so I need to retry that. I like the whole line though. I think I think they're a nice, really unisex line of fragrances. 
Lisa is here saying hi. Thank you, Lisa, for signing in. And ah, what's this I see before me? What's this? Hey, what's that? <laughs> Hello. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, I struggled. Finn will not go to sleep. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you, uh, yeah, it's only 6.30 here, so if you hear him squalling about PJ masks, I'm sorry. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, if you need to leave and sort him out, don't worry. We're, yeah. we're good. We'll be all right. Good, cool. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, just saying hello to everyone. Um, Raz Scott says, hi, hypnotic poison EDP for me tonight. Lovely. Um, yeah, so we've got the usual suspects in the building. Nice. So, Hillary, do you want to start off with your scent of the night? Uh, my scent of the night was Amouage Love Tuberose. Mm. Yeah, it's um, it's just a really beautiful tuberose and um, like whipped cream. So, mm. kind of like sweet and innocent, but also you're just like, oh, edible. So, right, sounds good. Are you okay hearing me? I'm, I'm not double backing on you or anything. No, you're good. Can, oh, do good. I come on? Yeah, yeah, you sound good to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so my scent of the night is where? Oh, it's over there. I'll go and get it. You take the floor, Hillary. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, y'all? <laughs> oh, I am not Ray Lewis. Hey, Freddie, how are you doing, bud? He lives in my neck of the woods, kind of bit southern, that sort of thing. Um, hey, Rich Mitch. He never actually says hi, Hillary. He only says hey, y'all. Say hi to me. <laughs> So what are you wearing? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you so, just did a that earlier. Yeah, that's the one I unboxed earlier. Um, it's quite light though. Yeah. It's nice, but it's not it's not a strong projector. It doesn't feel like it's got much, well, not much oomph at all, really. I've already resprayed it about four times. Yeah. Like it's got quite a strong oil content because it leaves like it leaves your skin quite oily, but it's just very light. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it smells good. It's just like it's called Radiant Nectar by Clean Reserve. For anyone that didn't see that earlier, they pair fragrance. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Pair and pairs. <laughs> I think you start dressing like a pair. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's have a little look. We've got Tony. Um, I thought I saw Tony. Did I? Yeah, there he is. And Barry's here. Hey, Baza. Do you say Baza or Baza? How do you say that? Baza. Baza. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you spot any comments and you want to say anything, Hillary, just take it away. Okay. I've got Francis. Uh, that's Happiness Sparkles. I'm wearing Giorgio Armani C. Very nice. Nice. Is that like is that the the tan bottle? Which one is the original? I know Passione is the red one, right? Yeah, I think Passione is the red one. C is that? Oh, I can't remember because there's a couple. There's a few now, isn't there? Yeah. I haven't smelled them in a while, actually. Yeah. I remember I did. I remember I liked Passione or however you pronounce it. But yeah, yeah. I've got a sample. I need to try that really again. But yeah. yeah. Uh, Richard is here. Hi, Richard. And uh, Jackie says, "Low Claire dressing like a pair. <laughs> this happened. So have you got a drink or a snack, Hillary? And everyone else, have you got drinks or snacks? Well, I have, like, whiskey next to me, but I probably should get a better beverage than that. <laughs> <laughs> What's better? Uh, I, you like Lambics? Do you like Lambics? I don't know what that is. It's like Lambic. a fruit, fruit beer from Belgium. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, yeah. I like those kind of like artisan Belgian beers. Is that yeah. one of those? Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good. Mm. So, hold on. I'm going to grab it. BRB. Mm. BRB. Um, so Lizzie's saying, Baz, you finally surfaced. Have you been having some anniversary celebrations, Baza? And it's uh, C is the clear bottle. And Robert's here. He's saying, Have evening, everybody. The main man is in the house. Oh, who's in the house, Robert? 
um, and uh, David says, um, no, is it gone? Evening, Robert. I mean, it is self love night after all. <laughs> Chris is saying, better than scotch, you are mistaken. Um, no, these are so good. I, I think I've tried, it might not be that exact brand, brand but I've definitely tried something like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a pub um, down the road from me that has like a whole selection of, of random beers and stuff. Yeah. So it's dead, it's closed at the moment, sadly. That's sad. <laughs> yeah, I first tried them, we have a restaurant here called World of Beer, hmm. and um, we actually... Chris and I, who's in the chat, we stopped there for lunch one day during grooming and they had like flights, like you could get a flight, like four different things to sample. Mm. And um, I was like, hmm, if, do I have to drive the grooming van? Like, are you going to drive it? Because I'm going to try a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah. So, oh, brilliant. So I got hooked. There's my cat trying to get in. <laughs> Come on. She was upstairs. My dogs are like rolling all over the place behind me for no good reason. Mm. So. <laughs> Yeah. In on the action. Um right then. Just oh, check. she went to her bitch beer. Don't judge me, Chris. <laughs> and Raz Scott is on the so co and cherry Pepsi. Goes well with smelling hypnotic poison radiating off me. Very nice. Um and uh, Scott Centurion's here as well. Hi, Scott. So if you haven't already shared your snacks, your drinks, and your scent for the night, then it's time to do so now. Don't forget health and safety. You've got to check in. Little emoji or a little high, a little wave. We just need to check if you're okay in the building. You're all right. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Jackie, I think it was, yeah, I think it is a raspberry flavoured beer. Um, so yeah share your sense of the night everybody if you haven't done so already and then when Hillary's back we are going to be talking about self love self care in a sensual kind of way but I might tell you what, well, just while we wait for Hillary, I might tell you a little bit more about this one. So it's Clean Reserve is the company and it's called Radiant Nectar. And it's pear, of course. It's pear and musky. And to me, it smells like it's got a little bit of a, a slightly savoury biscuity note. So um, it's nice, but it feels pretty light. So I might actually do something on top now. Um that's what she said. Uh, what should I do? I was so much, it's like so much oil though, it's, I can feel it on my skin, but it's just not, unless, not doing it, um, because it's ambre, so it's, like it's musky, and I guess you can be slightly anosmic to some musky type things. So maybe it's partly that, I don't know, but yeah, I feel like putting something else on. But um, I might just choose one as we go through these multi things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're layering over something that is musky, it's not going to do much. It's not going to mess with the uh, scent at all. Yeah. I just did a super mom move, and I handed my kid an entire bag of Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. That would be quiet. <laughs> could be worse. You could have given him the whiskey. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 right then. So, this is Hillary. Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, this subject was okay. Hillary's idea, I'd just like to say. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you started it the last time we did a stream. And yeah. you, you held up a bottle and you're like, this is the best fragrance for masturbation. <laughs> I'm, <gonna do> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube. I just yeah, um, yeah, I seem to remember Smurfs and Marmite um, in some, some way we were talking about. and that You were trying to explain to me what Marmite was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, all, it all got a bit strange, didn't it? But, yeah, so the subject is sensual self-love. 
yeah. Um, and I said before, everyone bring your alternate words for that. So share those because they're, it's always fun to learn new words for sensual self-love. <laughs> sensual <Meantime>. self-satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, do you want to go ahead, Hilary? Um, sure. Fun. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to like pick one. Okay. Um, I have Frederick Malls Musk Gravajour. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people say it smells pissy, but I don't think that's really accurate. It's like ambrette and spice and vanilla. It's really musky. Um, I just think it's, I just think it's really sexy. Honestly, I like I rarely use that word. Um, mm especially because I never feel that, but I feel like this fragrance kind of like makes me feel like maybe I could be. <laughs> oh, sexy. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. What am I going to go for? Um, so we'll start off with a, a subject that is close to many people's hearts in this group, and that is food. I think I speak for all of us when I say we get quite turned on by good food. So yeah. what better than a Ooh. chocolatey liqueur, raspberry fragrance for just making yourself salivate? <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward and so wonderful. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> but what I have here is pink champagne truffle, <laughs> pink champagne truffle by Panel London, and it literally smells like dark chocolate, raspberry, like a raspberry cream, and some raspberry liqueur, and a, a tiny bit of rose. It's kind of a bit boozy with that liqueur. But it's very rich and sensual, so it's perfect for me time. Uh, if you feel like you want to smell like you yeah. are a snack, a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Powder London uh, pink champagne truffle. I love Panda London's gourmands. Um, mm. I feel like I wear brandied pair the most just because it's perfect for the summer, but yeah. Yeah, it's weird I think not get with that one too much, but it might have been some booze. Yeah. See, on me, I don't really get much booze. It's mostly like the, it's mostly pear and banana and musk. And if I hear my kids say mommy one more time. <laughs> right, let me have a little catch up with your comments then. <laughs> Chris says, no wonder Claire has to keep reapplying clean. It just won't stick. She's so naughty. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we have Mezzy sent here. Um, Robert says, snacks is a crunching drink is water. I think it might be crunchy. Maybe crunchy bar, Robert, is it? Uh, you've got water, a latte, and we're in crime and punishment from original Doro. One little date, it's still here for now. I guess that's pretty strong then. Um, and Jackie remembers that scream with the, uh, the Smurf and the Marmite. Uh -huh. Yeah, she says um, it was a Francesca Bianchi thing or the stream. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, well, uh, Sybil says, what is Amber anyway? I think. Ambrette, like this musky. Do you know anything about Ambrette? I it's a seed, isn't it? Is it a seed? Is it carrot seed? Is it carrot seed or is it similar to carrot seed? I, I thought it was in the same family. I'll look it up really quick, though. Yeah. Um, we're finding out, Sybil, but it, is, uh, it just gives like a musky, clean, maybe powdery effect. It's also called musk mallow, and it musk looks like that. Ah. Great. Here we go. So, Ambrette seed, aka musk mallow. Um, that's what it is. Chris says, health and safety warning do not use any of these fragrances as lubrication. <laughs> I want to say that because if you tried it, how do you, how do you know? <laughs> um, you know, I did a whole bunch of research for this topic, you know, a lot of experimentation. <laughs> 
You haven't given yourself RSI, have you? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm like really into accurate uh, reviews and that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you've put the work in sometimes, haven't you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, okay, so my next one yeah. is, uh, you know, if you are like, if you're one of those people that's into watching hentai or whatever, and you want to be transported to another planet, Proxima from Centauri. This one is, um, it's very uh, like black currant and strawberry, and it's very um, kind of musky and bubbly. I think it smells like an energy drink, um, but I know it's designed to be after like the air on a new world or whatever. So if you're into uh, watching videos about aliens and nakedness. <laughs> oh my that one might work for you. It would love that, I'm sure. I was like, oh, Peter, I just would love for Peter to hear that I put his fragrance in a list about yeah. twiddling your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, bless his heart. Oh. Yeah, as, as, as I was picking my bits and pieces out, I, my perfumes, <laughs> I was sort of like Thanks, thinking, fine. you know, when, like you've got an indie house, and you you talk to the owner quite a lot. You think, or they, I don't know that they'd approve of that. So <laughs> maybe I won't do that one. <laughs> There's one. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is, but um, a, quite a religious lady who is the brand owner. So I thought, no, I'm not doing. I think she'd be upset <laughs> if she finds out. Um, uh, just have a look at comments then. And um, Jim says I'm getting into musk rubber shirt. Not there completely yet. Um, and Chris says he loves Musk Ravager on rainy days. Um, John Snow is here. Hi, John. Hello, John. And we've got Chris Howellack. What's up, folks? Sent in a day for Cody and Melfi. Uh, Lizzie said pink champagne truffle. She's got it. It didn't work for her. Um, I wonder why not, Lizzie. Any ideas? To me, it goes a little bit against my usual taste in Gourmand because it's not that much of a developer. It does develop a little bit, but not a great deal. And it is kind of a full-on Gourmand, not not how I like them, which is usually like a perfume that goes Gourmand, if you know what I mean. But I wonder why Lizzie didn't get on with it. Um, and we've got, uh, who else have we got? People saying hi, but I'm, uh, I'm not sure. What pure banana? Oh, we've got some, we've got some uh, self-love words here. So, oh. um, what pure banana from Jackie? I've never heard of that before. Um, cuff your governor <laughs> from Jackie. Cuff your governor. Um, but no, I haven't heard that one either. Um, Robert saying no luck, no fuck. Um, oh, okay. Warning, musk reverger, but we need to give a good skin wearing. A warming to that. That's from DB Seventy Dave. He's warming to it as well. Bunny Cha Cha. I think you are new to us. Hello, hello. Um, John Snow's awake. Uh, Jackie says fight your turkey. I've heard choke. You got choke the chicken, haven't you? I mean, I don't, but. <laughs> No, I guess people do. That's for the boys. Um, <laughs> um, it's like I mine's like hot pink and vibrates, so I don't know. <laughs> and Jackie says she loves math, um, and red seed masks. Chris says I prefer not to answer how I know about the safety warning. Um, uh, Jimbo loves Proxima. It's a, uh, Chris says Proxima is the most fizzy fragrance I've ever smelled. And Jim says there's no bean accord. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I, I don't have a single fragrance here that has a bean accord. No? No. Oh, You're sorry. Missing I just have to add my own. Yeah. No, <laughs> 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 oh, he says he didn't like Proxima, but the others he likes. I've only tried the pre uh, the pre reform version that he decided to change, so I haven't actually tried the new variant of it. Uh, but I, I'm not sure it quite sounds like my thing. 
like quite mm. I mean, it's kind of nice and the one I tried is nice but not um probably not a love for me um double click in the mouse says Chris <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. I'm. Re I'm really not going to keep up with all these comments, so I'm just going to scroll to the bottom now. Sorry if I missed you. Um, Bunny Cha Cha says Molinard's Habanita always makes me feel like I work in a whorehouse, but in a oh. good way. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> That's one of those things we need to expand on. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then uh, Rose and Jones Lizzie says pink champagne went sour on my skin like a bit of medicinal vibe lovely for about 10 minutes and then downhill oh shame okay right then whose turn is it it's your turn my turn okay then um, so I've decided to go for um, the, the, the gothic wank <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not prepared for the words, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I'm probably going to get demonetized and struck off. Um, this is Lely Tilimpika. It's the minuet uh, couture, midnight couture. Oh, so cool. it's a, a darker version. It's not that different, really, to the original EDP. Um, so you've got lots of licorice it's just got this really like dark boudoir feel like something a little bit naughty going on maybe kind of a bit esoteric like you like to have your tarot cards out while you touch yourself <laughs> um so it's got all the same notes really as the edp i think so it's got um uh, licorice violet almond vanilla ivy and it's quite i find them all quite linear but it's just slightly sweet not too sweet licorice dark yeah it just has this gothic feel and that whimsical thing that you get with lolita lempica so yeah that's like your more esoteric style self love perfect for a gothic wank did you see chris yeah. said sounds wonderful and sad all at once <laughs> it doesn't it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> did you want to read some comments out hillary oh I, I was just trying to catch some yara's here hi yara oh hi yara um and then buffin the muffin okay oh that's a new one welcome yeah, yeah beautiful Pamela Henderson. Oh, Pamela Henderson. Oh, I get oh, it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so my next one is probably, this is going to sound so, it's the one that's seen the most action because this is what I wear before bed. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and watch Lyric Man. Um, <laughs> this is a really beautiful soapy rose fragrance. And it has lime in the opening that just adds this kind of like tart juiciness around it. But um, it just smells really luxurious and rich. And I usually, whenever I mention it in a list, I always say it smells like your sugar mama or sugar, da sugar daddy's soap. So, mm. yeah. So, yeah. Thinking about your sugar, sugar mommy, sugar daddy. I know. Why you um, don't use it for lubrication. No, I don't, I don't need it as lubrication. I'm okay. <laughs> love it, love it. I need more alcohol. Okay. No <laughs> soap, no oh. Thanks. Thanks, Tony. Oh, what is this you've done to us, Hilary? Me? Yeah, this subject. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are watching this go downhill? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know actually because because it's StreamYard, I can't see. Um, oh, I'll look at it from YouTube. Yeah, I'm actually. Less than there, I think, in this case. Thirty-eight people. <laughs> it's talking about having gothic wanks. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can do the comments better this way, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The comments come through faster on the phone than they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, it's yeah. easier. It's just too small on my 
on my laptop and it's like well, I'm doing that and I just like oh my gosh did you see Jackie's thing Ellie sob your knob <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Um, uh, <laughs> we're having a little scroll through. Chris says, Oh my god, a gothic wank. Sounds wonderful. So, oh, you said that one. Yep. Okay. Um, no cologne, go home, says Tony. Okay. Bunny Cha Cha says, This is an excellent theme. So, well done, Hilary. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll take the credit when it's like positive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Let's do another one. Um, so, it doesn't take much for you to need to do what you want to do when you want to show yourself that love. But you could just make yourself more of a temptation by wearing. Temptation. Oh, okay. Um, is that three one sixty Tuesdays or who is that? Yeah, four one sixty Tuesdays. It's called Temptation, and it really just smells addictive in a in one of those synthetic ways, you know, like the uh, Ambroxan and I say Super and all the all those molecules, but with a bit of sugar. It's not a Baccarat Rouge um, clone as such, but it's got that feel, Extra you know, kind of thing. yeah, that's the, the synthetic nature of it. And there's, there's a sugary note in here, but it's not the same as the sugary note in uh, Baccarat. It's less of the candy floss, it's less fruity and more like pure sugar cane syrup kind of thing. It's just, it, it's called Temptation. It really is just like Temptation. It's one of those addictive. I'm going write that one down. <laughs> it's one of those addictive. Maybe I'll wear this one and then. Um, and entertain myself a little bit later. <laughs> I know. It's like I need to plug something in for later. Anyways, yeah. um. <laughs> plug it into the main. Should we charge that a bit? Like oh, did you see what Barry said? I know. Go on. He said, "Did I hear that right? This is going down on Hill." <laughs> and then Amy says, "Hillary looks like she's bracing herself for what Claire is going to say." I'm also bracing myself for what I'm going to say. <laughs> How far is too far? Um, that's a good question. I, I guess we maybe we'll find that out tonight. <laughs> You'll get demonetized. We'll have to find out when I have to donate in your next stream. <laughs> so Heather says, wax in the banister. Okay. Uh, uh, JLW, Jackie says, tower my tower, as in Andy Tower my tower okay. um uh, da, 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 da. i was set vanity chart i set a lot yeah i'm not entirely sure what what the ingredients are in temptation it's just how it feels to me like it's got all the really nice addictive synthetics and sort of like a bit of sugar it just smells like a, an addictive type scent, like the molecules, you know, like molecule one, molecule yeah. two, all of those, like the dry down of quite a lot. I think Maison Francis Kurt Jan, his own line, I think quite a lot of them are, are quite heavy with synthetic, but they're done in a way that's quite addictive, and that's why I think yeah. they sell so well. Um, he really, that, he really just seems to be like, I don't know, a master at, you know, combining um, your synthetics with your naturals. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Barry says, can't beat a good landing strip to guide you in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, the handy call the dandy. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Jad's going to bed. So, good night, Jad. Good night, Jad. Jad says, tingling the mingling with some fingering. Give yourself the old low five. Oh my god, Jackie Gallivant makes me salivant. <laughs> this is going in an actually an unusual direction. Um, yeah, so that was mine then. So that was temptation. That's basically okay. how you know how to make yourself smell like temptation. How to tempt yourself with yourself. Okay, so my next one is actually like my favorite fragrance. But if you're one of those people that likes to like 
be naughty in the woods, but you're having to have alone time. So obviously you're not doing it outside. You can wear um, Vagabond Prince Enchanted Forest. And I love this one so much. Um, it is, it literally smells like a really um, beautiful, like black currant wine that you've just poured all over yourself and you're in the woods. And the best part about this is that it literally is like three dimensional because it literally smells like there's pine needles on the ground. Like they don't smell like they're right up in your face. It's like they're the right distance. Hmm. from your nose in the scent if that makes sense yeah it's so good <laughs> so we're just saying if you, you like fucking in the woods but, but yeah. you can't do that because you haven't maybe got anyone to fuck with so yeah. um and you don't want to just be a weird person wanking in the bushes yeah, yeah. because that's an arrestable thing yeah so you're home safe indoors yeah you've got your fragrance but you're in the woods not alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get yeah, it. You can wear a very transportive fragrance. Yeah. <laughs> like that I broke that down. Yeah. <laughs> the dumb, like the dummy guys. <laughs> well, Chris said, wait, some people don't like fucking in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, there's bugs in the woods. I mean, I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and splinters. splinters. Yes, there's splinters. Please. <laughs> oh god i should have done shots before this stream maybe <laughs> um bunny cha cha my husband said send her 33 it's not like celery to him so there will be no action wearing that and <laughs> uh, lizzie's too tired to be filthy uh, robert says wear ivory root and use the fruit i do like um, ivory root it's a beautiful fragrance it's actually really, yeah, I quite like that one. Um, <laughs> John says, says Nishane for the Punane. <laughs> Jackie says, ooh, would talk. <laughs> Jackie says, isn't that called dogging? And I think that's only if you invite spectators, uh, apparently. Um, and there's snakes in the woods as well. Well, from my point of view, that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> John Snow says, one eyed trouser snakes, Tony. <laughs> Jackie says, make penance for Aventus. Um, Heather said she had a dead snake in the front yard. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> Yara says, it's too early for this. I love it. <laughs> What time? So it's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, oh, it's like eleven a.m. or something. Is that right, Yara? I can't do math. Where's Yara based? She's in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know, wow. I know, she's, I know she's sixteen hours ahead of me. I think. God, that is, yeah, yeah. So maybe a little bit early. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit early for this self love. Yeah. Um, is it ever too early? Let's be honest. Yeah, you know what? Whenever you need it, you need it. It's kind of it is therapeutic. I saw a psych, uh, psychologist. I don't know if any of you watch any psychology videos. A lady called Marissa Pear or Marissa Pear. Mm -hmm. Pear. Pears again. And she actually did why orgasms. <laughs> she, she did a video on why orgasms are good for you. And there's all these health benefits. So it is actually an act of self care because oh. it actually to fight disease um because your body thinks you are looking to produce a child and therefore it helps you it, what an orgasm encourages your body to be more healthy because it thinks that you're going to have you're going to try and have a baby that's one of the reasons but it's, yeah it also has like calming effects on the mind and stuff it helps you sleep which sometimes is almost like just taking a sleeping pill isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Lizzie just said, What's an orgasm? <laughs> it's warm in here. You need some of these fragrances, Lizzie. <laughs> is it is my turn or your turn for the next fragrance? Uh I don't I don't know. So I did temptation. Did you do one oh, yeah. I did enchanted forest. Oh yes, so it's my turn then. Okay. Um How, did so, you actually pull ten? Because I pulled like fifteen just in case. Uh, I, I think I've got about ten, but it, 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 yeah, it doesn't matter. So 
I thought about, um, you sort of were talking about transported fragrances, mm-hmm. and I thought about, um, oh, is that virgin vegan water? Uh, it says virgin island water. Um, so you could take yourself to um, Shagging on the Beach, this one, in your mind, within the safety of your house or car or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get arrested. <laughs> or wherever. But this one definitely transports you to that other place, that nice situation. It could be sort of make yourself believe it's evening time and you have a friend with you and you have a nice time in the sand dunes. Maybe you've got a mojito, you've had a few mojitos and I think it's quite mojito like it's quite limey but there's coconut as well so it's kind of yeah it's like mojitos and pina coladas but take the pineapple out take the pineapple out go put it on your pizza and you've got virgin island water but obviously you're not going to be a virgin because you're taking it <laughs> so yeah i almost grabbed that one too actually mm. yeah so yeah virgin island water by creed or self-love with a beach scenario. <laughs> um, shagging on the beach, pretty clitty. Oh my God, Scott, that was bad. <laughs> Funny, bad. <laughs> no, it's Scotty Felicity. <laughs> oh my. Hey, we've been to Campesan. Campesan's not far from me. Um, about well about an hour from me yeah um did, did you um <laughs> do anything naughty there tony <laughs> uh the, the, the hate sand gets in all the cracks <laughs> ever says sand gets into places you don't want yeah it's everyone's gonna have sand with sand getting everywhere <laughs> Um, Robert says, wear Roger and play with the Todger. <laughs> These right. comments are great. <laughs> Jack says, Jicky, you're Dicky. Oh dear. Uh, what's this about Fanny Butter? It doesn't give me crumpets. <laughs> um, oh, I've, got, I've got top chat. I need live chat. I'm missing stuff here. Oh, does it come? Oh, is mine live chat? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> there we go. John Snow says, Is that like knob cheese, Lizzie? Gross. <laughs> is it so by Gwyneth? Oh, yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, This Smells Like My oh. Vagina Candle. Did you say you ordered that? Yeah. <laughs> that I, I wanna I wanna have it burning when I do it. I don't know, Chris, am I allowed to tell them about the fragrances we ordered in? Are you still watching? Uh, we we ordered a whole line of fragrances in from a like a house on Etsy. Do you guys have Etsy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're naughty, like named. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. If he says, I can tell you. I'll tell you more about it if he says it. But okay. Needs the second candle. Did you? Did I hear that she came out with a second candle? Mm-hmm. That this smells like my something else. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That, it's an orgasm. It's an orgasm apparently. <laughs> but no, it um the like the one for this smells like my vagina. It's like a rose based fragrance. So it's okay. not like yeah, it's not, it's not like a hoo hoo or anything. <laughs> yeah. But like unlock for a week. <laughs> okay, so my next one that I had, um, I was going for boozy fragrances, so I kind of have two different like super boozy ones. Mm. Um, I have single malt by Killian. Um, this one is amazing. It's like plum and it's sweet and um, it literally smells like this one. <laughs> it's so good, but it's a little bit smoother than like the actual liquor. Um, mm. 
but the projection is really good. It's like vanillic and resinous and just enveloping. And I mean, like if you're already in a drunken state, you might as well. <laughs> and darn it. <laughs> And the other one I had was uh, Bourbon by Henley Perfumes. It's a, a small indie house here in America. And um, this one smells a little bit more like the the barrels that the bourbon is in, because it's more about the wood. But it also is kind of sweet and resinous and definitely smells like, you know, there's a little bit of bourbon left, like, dripping down the barrel. Oh, my gosh, this one's really good, too. It kind of, I think it smells like brown sugar a little bit in there as well. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. No. Good talk. <laughs> um, uh, Jackie says, Henley's a good line. Um, Bunny Cha-Cha was waiting for a Killian. Oh, yeah, I have far too many sitting in front of me for options. <laughs> Chris says, boozy fragrances make sense for paddling the pink canoe. And my cat is actually trying to get in on the action. Oh, never mind. I won't see what I was going to say. <laughs> Just never mind. <laughs> Should I show my pussy to everyone? Yeah. Quite a bit hairy pussy, but you know. <laughs> you need to go to the groom is clearly. Yeah. <laughs> if only you knew a good one. <laughs> I'm just a few thousand miles away, though. Mm. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Let's have a little check of these comments. Oh, there's an Erica Badu Lady Garden perfume. Um, says John. <laughs> Bunny Char Char says, my vagina does not smell like a rose. Honey, maybe. <laughs> Uh, Robert says, wear Dylan blue when you're ready to screw. Lizzie says, because everyone's vagina smells like rose. <laughs> um, oh, Scott said, purple headed, purple headed custard chucker. And then Chris said, because in America, we don't really do custard. Chris said, I always heard purple headed yogurt slinger. So. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, causing trouble. Right, let's go for another one then. Um, Is she the uh, only one causing trouble here, or? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting in on the trouble, then we'll say. <laughs> um, so I've got, uh, so you know, there's some places where you are supposed to behave, aren't there? Like, you, you, so therefore, to be naughty there would be extra naughty and extra exciting. Yeah. Um, I, I couldn't really think of a better place for a oh the library Tommy Tank in the library. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could get yourself in trouble. Um, but Whispers in the Library from uh, Maison Margiela, which kind of smells like books, the library, but um, more woody and spicy and. Yeah, I think being naughty in the library, um, although it is kind of risky, would be kind of exciting. So if you're inclined <laughs> that way. I love that one so much. It's so good. Yeah. That's the fragrance for that. And I do have a naughty library story, although oh, it's not okay. it's not sexual. At first of all, I'll point out. Um, when I was little... Me and my friend, Michelle, and literally was on this road. There was this tiny little library that was down the road here. And we was in there after school and we were only about 11 and we were giggling and playing around. And um, I had all these cats in my pocket. You know, they're, they're like the things that you throw at the floor and they, and they make a loud bang. Okay. I, I can't remember what they're called. Not cats, but something else. I had a load in my pocket and we were giggling. And I think we were looking at books that were too old for us. And then I kind of like rolled onto the floor, rolled onto my back pocket, and all the cats went bang in my pocket. So it's like, you know, like toy guns that's got cats, and that noise and a little bit of smoke. Yeah. All of them that were in my pocket all went off at once. <laughs> that's my naughty library story. Nothing to do with um, self love in the library, but I thought I'd say that. 
you made a whole lot of noise in the library. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a bang in the library, or quite a few bangs in the library, but yeah. that's not the thought that, <laughs> that you might think we're thinking about. I need to get the cat in here. Thank you, kitty. Thank you. Thank you. She looks so happy. Yeah, she's sick. Turn that frown upside down, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think he really cares though. I'm not no. trying to get him. Yeah. <laughs> if my cat ends up coming up here, he will care because he'll want to be like in the camera and then he'll knock fragrances off. It's pretty annoying. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> She's like going to fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Are you done? You gonna get down? No. No. <laughs> Fine. Fair every she's gonna get that. Fair everywhere. Fair flying. Yeah. All, see it all in the air. It's horrible. Need to get you shaved. I need to shave the pussy. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. So I've got um I've got a couple more. So you were talking about like um. Like, it's just exciting. Uh, I think Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is just one of those exciting ass fragrances, or exciting, never mind. It's an exciting <laughs> fragrance. Um, it's just so bright and juicy and um, delicious that, yeah, I just feel like that is super, I don't know, like super fun, super sexy, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And then I have another cherry one, and that is BDK's Rouge Smoking. Um, Eva turned me onto this one, and it's so good. But this, it's like, um, like sweeter, and it almost tasted. It almost tastes. It almost mm -hmm. smells like dusted cocoa on mm. top of cherry. Mm. It's so good. It's really is it quite good. Really nice? Does it change much? It doesn't really change much, um, mm. honestly. The long, the longevity also isn't great. So I mean, <laughs> but it just, it smells so good. You just kind of want to keep spraying it. That it makes sense. It's a really quick one, do you? Yeah. No, if you're in for a quickie though, <laughs> it is a little bit more, it is a little bit brighter in the opening. It does like kind of slowly get more warm, if that makes sense. But yeah, it doesn't change a ton. Yeah. I cool. still want to try it. It sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it was Eve, I think Eve's review that kind of made me think, yeah, I really want to try that. Yeah. Um, so Chris says he loves whiskers in the library. John Snow says, I wondered why all the pages were stuck together. <laughs> uh, Jackie says, the library, whispers or blisters in the library. Oh, dear. <laughs> Standing up is way easier than laying down in the library. Um, Jim says, back before the internet, there was a lot of action in the university library stacks. Flickers in the library, says Jackie. <laughs> Jackie's been flashed in the library during college. <laughs> Stifled moans in the library, says Chris. And Liz is being all holier than now with, well, some of us actually went to the library to actually read Tut Tut. <laughs> Tony says, I've tried to find a euphemism for wanking in the library. Don't type that into Google. We're clearing this issue now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Jackie loves Lost Cherry. It's really pretty. I need to try the Duke, though. Yes, yeah, so I've got a Duke called Amarina Cherry by Fragrenza. Mm -hmm. I, I really like it. It's, I, for me, it, because Tom Ford Lost Cherry didn't last too well on me. It's kind of felt quite flat after a while. But yeah. Amarin Cherry just stays like full bodied, rich, and it lasts. Like you can wear it for a night out and still smell it the next day. It's amazing. And I yeah, don't know. I, like to, I layer it with Baccarat when I wear it mm. to make it last longer. That will work. Uh, Jacqueline's here. Jacqueline's perfumery. 
uh, saying hi to everyone. Lizzie says Dancing Roses is so sexy. Looking forward to hearing Claire's thoughts on that one. Yeah, I can't wait to try that one. I've been wanting to try that for ages. And Lizzie's sending me a sample, so I'm excited. Uh, Dancing Roses, Victor oh. Rolf. One of the higher, their higher end ones. Um, who's saying good night? I think someone's saying good night, but I'm missing it. Who it is? Uh, Kay Stegan. Okay, oh, Patrin. Patrin, yeah. Okay, night, Patrin. Uh, Jackie says yes. The Amarina Cherry heard that uh, a few times. Yeah, they do samples uh, directly from the site, Jackie. So I would definitely give it a go. Try some of their other stuff at the same time. I think they're quite affordable. Um, Heather says Lost Cherry got lost in under two hours on me. <laughs> I am the dad says Lost Cherry lasts as long as I do. Well, oh, I thought you were going to bed, Jad, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Did it buy you dinner first at least? <laughs> right. The dinner will for me though. I'm fine with dinner. Is the set with you on this little table? I can't. Turn the whole lap around without pulling out all the plugs. I better not because yeah. it will all go picked up. One pick. Okay, so, right, we've done that one. So, the next one I've got then is covered in hair. Is John Bacoria, Sandy and Perry. The bottom works one. just fine. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to show yourself some self-love, why not make it in Paris? And why not make it a scandal? <laughs> Maybe it's time to get caught. Cool. Maybe it's time to do it in do it up the Eiffel Tower or something. <laughs> or do it in oh, the tower, tower, the tower, or something. Is that what they said? <laughs> Maybe even do it in the Galan boutique because you could just get over overcome by the excitement of all the beautiful Galan bottles. But when yeah. I walk into Harrods, I fully expect to need backup undies. Yeah, so Scandal Apparé smells, it smells like a pear. It's got a pear note um, and sort of like a slight honey. Um, it's got a little bit of vanilla in it. I think it's a little bit floral. Feels to me a little bit like orange blossom. It's smooth and creamy, a little bit fresh. But I mean, look at it. Legs akimbo, come on. I mean, yeah, there you go. Perfect, perfect scent for a little bit of self-love in the city of love, Paris. So we'll pop that one there. Ooh, pop it over there instead. Just have a quick check on your comments. Bloody sweetie hairs everywhere. I was sad. I didn't even know Sal was here. Sal, um, hello and goodbye. Good night, Sal. Um, um just saying goodbye. Good night to Sal. Sal's going to sleep. Night. Um, legs akimbo says um, Heather. Uh, Jackie, I love legs akimbo. <laughs> Empty scents. Hello. Uh, dang, I missed an hour of the finest babes in Bradcombe. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> um, love that cap, says Jackie, for my legs akimbo bottle. Yeah, I, I love this. And like, how naughty is that? Like, like one of my Smurf, one of my Smurfs could actually pleasure her. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Jean Paul Gaultier, but like, I mean, all the boy bottles show like dick root. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark says you could poke an eye out with those heels. Uh, Lizzie says Jean Paul Gaultier is definitely the raunchiest bottles. 
Uh, Scott says, Legs, legs Akimbo could be for a bimbo. I am, I am Jad, so I worked on my joke. What do you call the semen of a guy with one testicle that has never had sex before? Virgin Island water. The semen of a guy with one testicle that has never had sex before. I'm not sure I get it, apart from the virgin I'm bit. I'm the island bit, Jan. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, about the day job. <laughs> okay, right. Um, your turn then, I think, Hillary. Oh, is it? Okay, um, let's see. Um, okay, so I don't have a bottle of this, but I know that you do. Oh. It's a SP Musk. Oh, um, yeah. I've gone through multiple decants, and this one's empty, so I just... Multiple on it, <laughs> but um, this is like I don't know the sexiest fragrance I've ever smelled. Maybe I'm crazy, oh. but um, it's so sweet and patchouli and like like dark woods and just beautiful. I love this one so much, and I I probably just need to go ahead and order the bottle tonight yeah. while we're, while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that one. It's I, I'm with you. It's really sexy, and it's that patchouli is because I don't even like patchouli that much. But the patchouli is is that dry, dusty, almost like old books kind of feel yeah. to it, isn't it. Like it's earthy, but it's dry. Like you could scatter the, the dust. Like yeah, where you could even use it to add some texture. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is one of the fragrances that. It just smells so different than anything I've ever smelled before. Mm. So it, it's just, it's so intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is so sad how empty it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's definitely a good one. Yeah. Somebody said, somebody said, ask Hills. What are we asking me? Um, uh, oh, oh, about the vagina candle. It hasn't, it hasn't arrived yet, but I will do a full review on it. <laughs> um, okay. um, homie Harsol says I'm not sure if I should read this out but I'm going to since my wife had the kids I'm lucky if she wakes me off these days let alone legs akimbo <laughs> um, yeah okay um <laughs> <laughs> um uh yeah tony says sp claire has something to answer for so i sent tony and bex some samples i sent them the new sp one which is sandalwood and peony oh, I and it's it. like, really it's like it's got quite a lot of vanilla in it it's, it's musky but in a clean way it's powdery and it's got really nice changeability it's it's it does a lot. I mean, slowly it does a lot over a period of time. It's really nice. So Bex, I think, has fallen in love with it. So Tony said I got a lot to answer for. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I um I suggested a fragrance earlier to um my friend Kevin who does some streams, and because yeah. uh, his uh, his fiance apparently is looking for a fragrance, so I suggested Ylang and Gold from Mikalef. Mm. And um and as soon as she saw the bottle, she's like, I want that. And he's like, How expensive is that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh, we're in trouble. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, you need to like recommend some low-level celebrity scent. <laughs> That's not my specialty. I, no. I don't think I know any celebrity fragrances. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, peony and sandalwood fire says Tony. It is really good. Um, if you end up ordering anything from it, if you order the mask, get a sample of SP Peony and Sandalwood. It's a new one. Okay. Is it really good? It's good. If you, and we don't always have the same taste though, but if you like vanilla, I do. powder, I do. Uh, musk, yeah. Uh, Sandalwood's really, really creamy. It's not that dominant. It can be quite hard. Oh. Um, is he... <laughs> okay, Finn needs a little bit of attention, bless him. 
uh, Catch My Whiff is here. Hi, Catch My Whiff. It says hello, ladies. Um, Sorry, I gave him watermelon and he had the uh, rind and he's like, do I eat this? And I was like, no. Oh. <laughs> you know this. You've eaten watermelon your entire life at this point. Yeah. It makes up a vast majority of your lifetime. So. Did he eat all the Cheetos? No, I took, uh, he, I don't know how many he ate. There's definitely a dent in the bag, yeah. but it, he ate a full dinner before we got here. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Cause at Chris's house, Chris made him like fish sticks and French fries and mm. he ate like all that. And then he's probably eaten another whole meal's worth since he's gotten home. <laughs> got a healthy appetite on him. He is a bottomless pit for sure. He eats <laughs> far more than I do. Oh yeah. Well, um right then i think is it your turn oh it might it might could be yeah um well you were talking about beach scents earlier so i had ylang and gold um oh, yeah. this is kind of tropical it's like ylang and coconut and then there's this beautiful vanilla and it's kind of just um yeah this is kind of like what you would wear if you were wanking on a beach i guess <laughs> <laughs> Would it be fun if, uh, if Finn hears you and just repeats that back at a, a random moment in time, like maybe next time he goes to play school or... Oh, or God, karma. <laughs> one of the grandparents rings him up. Yeah. I said something, actually, earlier today. Um, oh, no, what did I say? I, I think I just said F this S, basically. And, um, and Chris's daughter, who's six months older than Finn, heard me and just straight up went... <laughs> I just said it exactly. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh <God. I'm> sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oh, but, oh. Yeah. oh. At least, you know, they use it properly, I guess. <laughs> um, catch my whiff says, I haven't been able to participate in live. It happened more than just today. Oh, it's good you could make it. Catch my whiff. Good to see you. Uh, Mark Jacoby says, if I had a vag, it would smell like French toast, crunch, and cocktails, just like Click by Robor, a cheapie under $20. Well, that sounds really, really rather nice. <laughs> um, um, oh, yeah. Yara says, no perfumes heavy on Castorium mentioned yet. Damn. <laughs> oh, because oh, of beaver. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That was, that was yeah. <laughs> Jackie says, she did that to her friend's son, what you did. And now he thinks it's fun to say shit this, shit that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I have a really bad mouth unfortunately. So um, I was actually talking to the director of Finn's daycare. Um, Cause like, you know, like whenever, hopefully hoping that they eventually go back to school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, he's going to come back with a, a much worse mouth than he came home with. So <laughs> no in advance that a few dropping me a bomb or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's all my fault. At least you hold your hands up to it. Yeah. yeah. It is. What it is. Right. Tell us a bit more about Elangin Gold. Oh, um, well, like I said, it's tropical and floral, but also um, really vanilla, like a good oriental. Um, it, I love the coconut in here because it, it kind of just adds a bit more dimension. It also has like some sparkle in this thing. So if you feel like, if you want to feel like you went to the strip club, but you don't actually want to go and get like the glitter all over you, you can just mm. get it in the bottle. I think it is totally unisex though, even though, um, I don't know if the Swarovski crystals would turn some guys off of it, but I think it would smell really good on a on a, on a good on a dude too. <laughs> um, okay, do I have any others? Oh, um, I also have B. Um, just because I feel like this is kind of animalic um, in some facets, and I feel like any kind of animalic in a fragrance is usually kind of intriguing and intoxicating. Um, Plus, it just smells so damn good. I mean, how can you not be feeling yourself when you're wearing it? Yeah, so. I mean, my nipples are getting hot just thinking about it. <laughs> I was like, literally and figuratively, like, <laughs> so good. Yeah, they are. We have to keep them off camera for a minute. 
I always keep mine under camera. Because <laughs> when in doubt, never mind. <laughs> Um, so a quick look at these comments. Um, I think uh, Jackie says, Are you Claire or Hill is going to list these sent later when you post this? I like some of these, should have been taking notes instead of thinking of euphemisms. Yeah, if you don't mind sending me a list, Hills, of all the frags you've got there. And then I will paste them and my ones as well in the description. Once it's uploaded, which tends to take about a day, these live streams, I, I don't know if you get the same, Hillary, but my live streams don't actually up like process for a good day or so. Yeah, my, like, my live streams process, but my comments won't show, like the live comments won't show oh, for yeah, yeah. hours. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I will, yeah, I will. If, uh, yeah, if you don't mind sending me a uh, list, yeah, we'll do that. that out. <laughs> How many fragrances uh, do you have left? Uh, only. Uh, I think I've got three. Okay. Three. Yeah. Right. So let's go with. This is an unusual one. I haven't mentioned really much before. It's called Ceremony. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, maybe you want um you want a whole um, pomp and circumstance situation instead of just a quickie in bed. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know you, you want a ceremony. Maybe you you, you want to set things up. And I've got the notes here. So this is by Screaming Mandrake. Uh, they're an English company in that I think they only ship in the UK. I could be wrong about that, but they're oils. So this is an oil and it's uh, rich and exotic. Takes you to the place where witches hold ceremonies for their gods while incense smoulders. It's deeply fantastical and transportative. So if you have sort of fantasies about, I don't know, like today I think it's solstice, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So you could have sort of a bit of a fantasy about going to Hastings and doing sort of naughty stuff on the stone. Isn't it a lot of like orgy kind of witch stuff? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, so yeah, this, if you want to sort of fantasize about a ritualistic orgy, maybe even a bit of sacrifice and you know, smearing blood all over yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh. Hold again. <laughs> oh, my God, that's what he said. <laughs> this has notes of Nagachampa, which um, is basically like a jasmine kind of incense. Okay. Bonfire, amber, cedarwood, and sandalwood. And, yeah, it's just a nice uh, – it's actually quite pleasant, floral, ambery, slightly smoky – fragrance but yeah it just has because of that incense you feel and the woods it's just a bit transportative it can take you take your way to that ceremony you might want to uh, to have self-love <laughs> ceremony uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah ceremony by screaming mandrake <laughs> it'll have you screaming like it never mind <laughs> You'd be screaming like a banshee. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so my last fragrance that I mentioned was, you know, a fragrance that when you're just, like, feeling yourself. And this one is, too. It's a MFK's Oud Satin Mood, the EDB, oh. the X-Drape. Um, this is just one of those fragrances that, like, when I wear it, I don't know, I feel like hot shit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I smell as expensive as this fragrance I paid for, I guess, but. That's like your high end, high end wank. Yeah, yeah, that's my high end wank. Yeah, <laughs> when I go and buy lingerie just for myself. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> you get some fancy avocado or Star Wars underwear. That's the kind of fragrance I'm wearing. <laughs> avocado underwear. Yeah, I do have avocado underwear. What's that? What is that? Uh, I mean, there's, that? there's just pictures of avocados all over it. <laughs> when you're when you're ready to guac and roll, <laughs> guac and roll. I'm learning so much here. 
Oh God, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I like funny undies. I don't know. <laughs> I like the ones I'm wearing today are covered in sushi. So. Oh no, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, uh, Denzi from Making Sense is here, and he said the title got me in. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Denzi. Um, let's have a quick look then, see who we've got and what are, what are people saying here. Um, so we're talking about the word clunge. Um, Lizzie's saying worst word ever, clunge. I've never heard that word. So that comes up on, um, oh, bloody hell, what's it called? Oh, it's gone. Uh, Lizzie was talking about the show earlier. They've got a couple of films out and they had a series these young lads, uh, school age, and then they're just obsessed with plunge. They want to be balls deep all the time, you know. <laughs> balls deep and plunge. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, um, Yara says good night. Good night, Yara. Good night, Yara. <laughs> uh, Jackie says choking the chicken on a whole other level. <laughs> um, um, where's some flange says John Snow I just sent um, you a list of things by the way. oh yeah, thank you Flun flange and clunge <laughs> Jackie's writing these words down they're new to her oh, I hate the word flange somebody oh, who really? pressed that that's like and that's an evil word <laughs> yeah mm, I know I've not heard of that um Rich, sorry, my cat hairs are making me itch. Um, Rich says, big fishy clout. Uh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Chris says, high-end wank, leave yourself a tip on the dresser. <laughs> uh, I am the Jad says, Belle freaked us, that fancy stripper that took herself too seriously, but everyone knew she was trashy. <laughs> I like that phrase too. <laughs> Lizzie has Star Wars PJs, as does Jackie. So I'm not the only one. I just don't wear PJs. Mm. <laughs> I'm just... Okay. Um, says, Claire, were you picturing avocados tied like a coconut bra? I kind of was. Like I was imagining that the actual underwear was made out of the avocado. An avocado wouldn't be enough to cover this situation. <laughs> <laughs> In between is everyone's telling me the show that they're talking about where they talk about clunge. Oh, okay. And they also have bus wankers in there. Oh, okay, great. So got, like one of them's finally got a car and they're driving, like, he's driving his first car. And so then they all shout out the window as they go past the people waiting for a bus. Bus wankers! And the story develops. I think, I can't remember what happens, but I think they, they have a breakdown or they get themselves in trouble in, in some way. It's, yeah. it's funny. You've got to watch it in between us. It's very I, British. It's like so British. I, um, I love British TV, to be honest. Yeah. Doctor Who Freak. I used to watch Keeping Up Appearances all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hyacinth Bouquet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. Um, Jackie says, it's so funny. I saw it on TV in London last. I got the whole series went home. Yeah, there's two movies and there's a, a whole series of it. So see if you can catch some of it because I think it'll make you laugh. And you'll learn a lot of British terms. Well, you're just, you'll just learn a lot in general. <laughs> <laughs> it's an education. <laughs> um, uh, Jackie bought her Star Wars PJs at Walmart. Got them for Jason, but I ended up using them. Um, <laughs> Lizzie says, I think my hubby would like me to dress up as Princess Leia in the golden bikini. Fat chance. <laughs> Right then, um, who's smelling something next? Is it me? Uh, yeah, I think I've only got two left, so whatever, however many you have left, you do. I've got two, I've got two too, so you do one. Okay, um, uh, this is the men's version of Tom, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Mm. Um, this has a kulfi note in it, mm. and so it's like, um, like a beautiful kind of light, kind of boozy vanilla with a little bit of like a pistachio kind of saltiness added to it. This is definitely, um, I think it's definitely gourmand. Um, mm. Wear a lot of it because it gets pungent if you spray too much, but it is just, um, 
kind of addictive, I would say, actually. Yeah, really I, like that. I, really like that one. I prefer that to the female version. I think the female one is too sweet. Yeah. yeah. But that one I really like. Like I would I would say just that's the one to go for. It doesn't matter who you, who you are. That's the one. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. Very sexy. Yeah. So what kind of wank does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Kind of the like, like a like you, like you take yourself out for a dessert. Like you take yourself out and you get yourself like a tiramisu or a you know some sort of fancy um, expensive cake, and then you go home and wank it, <laughs> daydreaming about that cake. <laughs> <laughs> what about actually wanking in the cafe? It would would that be a, like? <laughs> I mean, if you can get away with that without getting yeah. arrested, you do you, Claire. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, there could be um, it could be like um, a TV series or, or something. You know, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, you have um, is it Harry Met Sally where she has to fake the orgasm in the restaurant? But imagine that you're in a restaurant and you get this amazing dessert sitting in front of you and then you just like went for it. <laughs> that could be fun. You could have a hidden camera and then it would probably go viral on YouTube. There's a way to get my views up. There's a way to get some views. Oh. Let's have a little look to see. Sorry, just reading your comments. Uh, Barry says, in between this film was great. The dancing was hilarious. Yes, I love that. Um, and Cherie is here. Hi, Cherie, from the top notes. Cherie, I was going to ask you, so you, um, you reviewed a little while ago the Tion Rian Renthal, uh, I think it was Nefertum. Have we got any other fragrances from that line? And are you planning on reviewing them, Sherry? Because I'm planning to make some uh, purchase of some samples, but I'm kind of lost with what to get. So I'd love your advice on that. Just talking to Sherry, uh, she's. Um, about or asking her about Tion Renthal, which is the Australian natural perfumer. Have you seen anything of that or, or that line? Uh, I have not, but I would love to. I, I feel like a lot of the things Cherie talks about are fragrances that I've never heard of. Mm. Yeah, they sound really good. Wasps from the Loft just spoke about uh, quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, Christy from Oh My Soul, talks quite a lot about them at the moment okay. and it's all like coming at me I just I just I feel like I need to try them but then they're not cheap and obviously there's the shipping from Australia and yeah so I've kind of put it off for a little while but yeah I think it's going to happen they sound really nice there's one called Blue Lotus it sounds really interesting what was the name uh, of the house again uh it's Tion Re it's spelled Rian Thau so R E I. R E I N B N yeah T H A L or T R G N for short T N R F L perfume something. Can you message me? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got stuck when you said H like a like H and I was like, wait. What, how, how, how would you say? How do you say H? Yeah. H. What did I say? H. How I said like a commoner. Okay. <laughs> Every time somebody says Z for Z, I, I kind of like twitch. I'm like, okay, wait, wait, that's a Z. <laughs> I know my letters. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, she typed it. Okay. Oh, I did not have anywhere close to that. T-R-N-P-L. Uh, yeah, so T-R-N-P is like the short version. So you can look it up. With the gotcha. Um, ready for the next menage a moi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm, I'm being somewhat hurried. 
Um, my next menage a moi is The Lover's Tale. So the one that started it all. Yes. If you're having a bit of a leather fetish, then I think this is the one to go for because this is it's rich and sexy. There's this gorgeous iris butter that kind of runs through the whole thing that just makes it sensual and exciting. And then, but the leather obviously adds that um, naughty touch. It's really unusual. It changes loads and loads on the skin, um, but it's just super, super, super sexy and very sensual so you could put this on at night and that's actually my favorite thing to do is to put it on at night and I love how it smells when I wake up in the morning so it might potentially make me a bit of a morning person shall we say uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Francesca Bianchi the lovers a tale but yeah. we will be putting all the information in the description box so you can refer back to them. Yeah. And you got one more then, Hills. Oh, yeah, I had one more, also by Killian. This one is Gold Knight. I can't believe I didn't grab a single leather fragrance for this list, though. I don't, I'm not a leather girl. Maybe that's why. I mean, I like to wear leather scents and stuff, but I mean, I guess as far as like, I don't know. I'm not wear, I'm not using whips anytime soon. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so Gold Knight is, um, it's a beautiful honey and anise um, and vanilla fragrance. It's just so like aromatic and um, I don't know, I just feel like honey is one of those, just, just pour it all over me, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess honey could kind of be like, it's a sticky lubricant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, oh, it also has patchouli in it, so it kind of adds like a, mm. some earthy dimensions into this as well. It's just so good. This is, I don't know, this might be my favorite Killian. I'm not mm. sure. This okay. one is the one. Yeah. Mm. If you do use honey as a lubricant, Mommy don't use it in the room. Mommy, I'm going to get it! <laughs> Lizzie says, anyone own a whip? <laughs> a walnut whip. I love a walnut whip. But not. I don't eat the walnut, though. Walnut can bugger off. Um, I'm happy to remove the walnut. Um, Mom, you open the gate. I love it. Is he all right? Yeah, he just wanted to come look and see for himself that I don't have batteries for him. So, oh, is that yeah. you using it for yourself? <laughs> no, I have a rechargeable one. Thanks, but um, <laughs> oh, no. he wants to. I got him a bubble machine, and uh, he wants to play with it in his room. I was like, we are not playing with bubbles inside. <laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> didn't know you'd have to have as an adult. <laughs> Jackie says, are you guys watching what they do in the shadows? I haven't seen that one. I've started watching In the Woods, which is um, a pretty, I think, no, it's not British. It's an American sort of about a mystery about a couple of kids, that, two kids that die and two kids that go missing at a summer camp. Uh, just started watching that. That seems quite good. Um, isn't that one guy, um, James Corden in Into the Woods? Oh, is he? I, don't, I feel like I remember him mentioning it before, like in one of his TV shows or something. Mm. Is it on Netflix? Does anyone know? I don't know. That's my only, that's my only thing. I've, I've only got Netflix. <laughs> I don't know what Prime Dicted is responding to, but that is hilarious. I think of the shit. Um, have a look. I think of the shit out of my listen. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, I know. Oh, it's God. Walnut Whips. Walnut Whips. So Lizzie says, I shoved the whole thing in one. My mouth is big enough. Uh -huh. And uh, Tony says, I think of the shit out of my listen. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, it's Cadbury's cream egg now, I think, actually. Um, how do you eat yours? Hillary, um, Lizzie's asking 
You have had to um, well, I could probably shove a few in my mouth at a time, but I typically like Finnick Oliver. I typically bite it in half and then just suck the insides out. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will nibble the top off first and then like nibble little, little bits from around the edges and maybe dip my tongue in a little bit. <laughs> I have a bit of um, probably a bit like the ceremony. You know, I want to enjoy it and I want it to last. <laughs> but when I was little, I could eat I could eat a whole six pack of Cadbury cream eggs. Now I don't. I the, sh the sugar's too much. I like it's too too much, too sweet. But it hurts my teeth now. I think, but yeah. <laughs> But I think I would rather have a walnut whip over a Cadbury's cream egg. And Eve is here. Eve Spider Smells is here. Um, I just clicked in and I have no context around what was just said. <laughs> um, yeah, we're talking about, well, <laughs> talking about a few different things, but that was about Cadbury's cream eggs and whispers. Not whispers. Walnut whips. Walnut whips. So it wasn't as bad as it sounded. <laughs> Jackie says, yeah, I love licking, sucking the cream out first. <laughs> yeah, if you do that, then that's the end. That's it. Game over. <laughs> yeah, Chris says it's likely the best for the best Eve. <laughs> yeah, best, probably best to um, ignorance is bliss in this case. So yeah, um, I've got one more fragrance. I'm going to wait for Hills to come back for that. So I might have to top my little drinky up. Got a little bit left in the glass. Heather says, why with the fingers? That's a mess. Yeah, that's pretty gross, actually, Tony. Like, like finger in your Cadbury cream egg. Like you're going to get all sticky. You're going to get chocolate under your nails. What's wrong with sticky? Well, sticky's fine in some situation. It's not in a Cadbury cream egg situation. <laughs> I bribed my kid out of the kitchen with carrots. That is a mom win. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better than Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like my suggestion. I just, oh, I'm just going like, to start handing, I'll hand him cookies at this point if he'll stay mm. over there. <laughs> <laughs> right then. So where were we? Um, I, I did my last one. one. Um, have you got any more, or, or is it just one oh, more for me? That's right, all. So my final last one, and it's kind of the fragrance, really, that I think inspired this situation and this this particular subject. So we have been. <laughs> 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 so the fragrance is called Bean, and uh, it's by And Perfumes. So here I am flicking my bean live on YouTube. <laughs> So the company is called AND, A-N-D, but it's a small A with a little uh, circle above it. So okay. that, that means something. But don't ask me what. Okay. Um, it's basically bean because it's a tonka bean. So it's not actually anything to do with the clitoris. Thank you for specifying. <laughs> I never figured it out. <laughs> um, but I had to bring I had to bring this one to the party, and it is really full on tonka. Like it's it's spicy and rich and ambery. It's almost lacking top notes. It's like straight into like a really cozy, rich, dry down kind of thing. So it could be the perfect cozy wank fragrance. So I don't know by the fire middle of the winter wrapped up in your blanket well i could have brought by the fireplace that would have been yeah, a good one. yeah that would work but um instead we've got beans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing we're happy ending <laughs> how do i do that from a distance <laughs> <laughs> thank you my lovely <laughs> i'll just give you a little bit more bean flicking oh, see you. that's how that really happens. good for me is it it's good for you <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
say, um, yeah, you watched us flicking our beans live on yeah, YouTube. I don't have any beans. <laughs> you baked beans? I don't uh, eat anything. If, if it has bean in the word and it's not vanilla related, I don't touch it. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't actually like the baked beans or those big kidney beans. They've got that dry texture, haven't they? It's not that great. I like my beans really wet. Yeah. <laughs> Moist. Moist. Is John still about? He's probably asleep now. Moist, John, mm -hmm. if you're listening. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's all of our fragrances. So we can just have a general chit-chat. Uh, if you need to get off, Hilary, just shout. Um, oh, I'll get off later. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> now, yeah, now we're fully um, fed. <laughs> <laughs> fully spent i'm now wearing temptation i feel like i want to put something else on top i'm gonna to go love the tail i'm just gonna do the one because because then when i wake up in the morning i'm gonna well it smells great anyway but you really do need to get this one though the rouge smoking yeah, try that yeah i just i keep trying to go back to smell it mm. the longevity is really shit though i just but it smells so good yeah. It's a shame. How shit? I mean, two hours more. It's just, it, I, I think it probably lasts maybe four to six hours, but it's so close to the skin. Mm. Like, after like an hour already, and it just makes me really sad. I want that it to just radiate off of me. Yeah, that would bother me. Yeah. That would be a bit annoying, especially yeah. if it's not really good. Yeah. Right, let's have a little look at the comment. Oh. Hola, Jose. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Tony said Bex would have loved this chat. Where Definitely. is she? What was she thinking? Oh, where, where is she? Um, uh, Bean is always with Claire through the good times and the bad. <laughs> <laughs> If you can't tell, like, basically, in order for Chris and I to work together, it's just like a whole bunch of sexual harassment. Very <laughs> thrive on that's what she said jokes. Brilliant. God. Um, Scott says, you're flicking the bubbles out of that one, Claire. No. Um, Chris says, I think she was punishing the bean there. Um, Captain My Wiff says Japanese red beans are great, subtly sweet. Oh, it's it's Jim with the moist, damp, dripping aversion. Oh, I thought it was John that had the issue with the, the word moist. Tracy says hashtag cozy wank sense. Thanks for the gem. Thanks for that gem, Claire. <laughs> um, Oh, John Snow said, "Oh yeah, Jim, we're fine with the moistness." <laughs> Tony says that bean got flipped to shit. <laughs> okay, right. I'm mostly caught up there. I'm going to top up my drink. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, we should have picked cumin as a note in a fragrance, just uh, for. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's sort of talk about what notes would be in um, self love. <laughs> yeah, so perhaps cumin. I mean, although I think that most Amawash fragrances have cumin in them somewhere, like, like it's part of their base. So there's there's a slim chance that there's some in Lyric Man. Mm. I think vanilla, because it's just like so comforting and but it, like, so it can be comforting, it can be boozy, it can be intoxicating, it can be, yeah, so many different things. Yeah. Um, I guess like, yeah, leather, rubber, for those people that have the fetishes. <laughs> have you ever been to a pink bar? No, What what is that? I was gonna say me neither, but it's not true, I have. <laughs> it's a, basically, uh, Typically, typically it's a gay bar, but you know, oftentimes it doesn't have to be. Um, and there's basically just lots of like 
leather harnesses, lots of people in like head to toe. Um, what is that stuff called? Like patent, the slick looking stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, like fake leather, fake leather, um, shiny plastic stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lots of metal in places yeah. that you didn't know metal should go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you were in Lexington, I'll take you to one. <laughs> right. Sounds great. <laughs> What's going on in these places? The same as the usual bar, honestly. Yeah. And, and yeah. although it, although it looks a little bit scary, like they're usually so like sweet and polite, and like that people just want to make sure that you're comfortable when you're there and that you have a good time, that sort of thing. Okay. And that's just drinking. Do they wear gimp masks? Say it again. Do they wear those gimp masks? Um, I'm sure one or two of them do. But mm. the vast majority of them don't. There's something yeah. about them that makes me feel uncomfortable. You have to expect a guy to be in a banana hammock, probably, at some point. Oh, can you explain that for me? A, a man thong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you have to expect that at some point, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'll put that in the wank bank. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I think Lizzie's going. I just saw someone saying goodbye to Lizzie. Oh, um, good night, Lizzie. Off to bed for cheer. It's not what you think. <laughs> things are coming back from my eyes for the next eight hours. So tired, night. Night, Lizzie. I'm sure it's not what to mm -hmm. think at all. Imagine if we somehow got people in the mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could all have them um, say. On our live stream a little while ago, we all like we all lit candles together, didn't we? Yeah. Um, well, we could all. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Peter, does, Peter does his meditations, right? Uh -huh. So we could all, um, yeah, we could all do that together. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you know, it's just. <laughs> I mean, it probably would happen whether or not you uh, suggested it. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> so just a good old group wank. <laughs> oh, oh god! Nice. I'd bring us all together, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, come together, right? <laughs> uh, Jackie says. Old green black has a burnt rubber note I kind of like. Um, uh, Rich says, has anyone here smelled rising Mysore? I haven't. Is anyone else? Hilary? No, I haven't, but that's a funny name. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm assuming it means like sandalwood, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jackie says she likes smoky notes too, like virtual incense, if it's not too dry, very sexy. Um, Chris says, oh, great, I can wear my banana hammock then. Great. Will you wear it to work? <laughs> He's having to stay home and watch kids right now since our daycare is oh, not oh. open yet. <laughs> oh, we don't do that with the kids around. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> I <see>. Better not. <laughs> John Snow says a wank circle. <laughs> Jackie says dying group wank. <laughs> Scott says, Are you asking us to donate again, Claire? Oh, only if you want to. Um, or you could just wank. <laughs> But it's, um, it's just ongoing. It's just an ongoing thing. So at the moment, all my ad sets is going to the rescue. Happy endings. Happy endings rescue. But no pressure from me. Much appreciated if anyone does want to do one of those things. The only thing with that is the YouTube do take a little cut from it. So it, it kind of like you don't get as much in the end as, as it looks like. But Anywho. Do you have a PayPal account that you could like leave in the comments so we could just send it straight to you? Yeah, I could do. I don't know. I just, um, yeah, I could do, I guess. Um, but I don't, you know, it's like awkward, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but 
But anyhow, I mean, it is a charity. It shouldn't feel awkward. Yeah. Um, uh, Barry says we could play Soggy Biscuit. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to post the biscuit. The biscuit would literally go around the world. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, I think the girls would have trouble getting the biscuit soggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jackie said, I like that Hills just huffed her frags. Damn it. I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm smelling all of them. Smelling your smelling sorts. This is all getting a bit much. <laughs> if they didn't smell so good, I wouldn't, but you know. Oh, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, now I smell. I've loved the lover's tail now. Um, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I'm just like preparing for this group wank with all of my frags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, were, what were your all's like favorites? Uh, like from each of us, like if we had a group wank, what would what should we wear? <laughs> <laughs> so, what scent of the group wank? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. What do you think? Um, I'm trying to think of what my favorite from what you had picked out was. Yeah. I, I love the gothic wank one. Mm. I haven't smelled the fragrance, but based on the bottle alone, I, that like really, I really enjoyed that. And obviously I have like a, an emotional attachment to lover's tail <laughs> since <Yeah>. that. That's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So I think um, I quite like the idea of the uh, forest, Enchanted Forest. I have tried that one as well. But I do like that juicy black current note. And I think, yeah, just even thinking about juicy fruits is, is kind of sexual in a way as well. Mm -hmm. but, uh, the idea of, yeah, being outside and that excitement that that can bring. So, yeah, Enchanted Forest. And the bottle's nice to that as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's something so wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to live this live stream down. Sorry. <laughs> what have I done to you? The thing is, I, uh, like some of my colleagues actually watch these live streams, <laughs> and some of my real life friends will watch. Like, not all of it, probably, but they might tune in, and, and they'll just catch like a bit of one of these random conversations that we're having <laughs> beach wank <laughs> group wank <laughs> what was it gritty clitty <laughs> oh god <laughs> aqua de palma oh god that's good <laughs> oh, <brilliant>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, catch my whiff uh, says he remembers a porn from the 80s where a woman's O was bottled into a fragrance. Um, John Snow says, well, I'd spray you all with my man wood essence. Been waiting hours to say that one. <laughs> um, Chris says, yeah, I would be up for the gothic wank or the one with the legs on the bottle. Legs akimbo, Christopher. Legs akimbo. Look at those legs. Look at this sexy, sexy leg. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> you can see what she had for breakfast. <laughs> Jackie says it went quiet in the chat. They were busy hands right now. <laughs> oh, Chris. Hello. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> are you hungry do you want a snack <laughs> yeah you want a snack do you want some goldfish or some gummies or some cookies or some anything you want some more gummies you want some yeah we'll go find you some gummies how about that i guess some more yep mm -hmm. brb <laughs> uh jackie says claire the upskirt shot on legs akimbo that's so naughty, isn't it? Um, yeah, Eve. Yeah, we were talking about Gwyneth Cal Gwyneth Caltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow's candle. Yeah, we've um, we were talking about that one. Hillary has ordered it. She's actually ordered it. 
<laughs> Goldfish John, they are a very popular bar snack over there in the States. Um, when I worked on the cruise ships, they always had uh, big bowls of goldfish and they're basically like cheddar you know like mini cheddars they're like mini cheddars but they're goldfish shaped i'm just explaining goldfish to john snow <laughs> has he got goldfish oh you're sorry, sorry. You're on... sorry. no he's got a uh, gummy what are these called fruit snacks that are paw patrol right now yeah. Oh, yeah, they're Paw Patrol. What color is that? Marshall. <laughs> oh God! You know, if you just uh, if you only do wanking, you don't end up with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> so pra practice safe sex. <laughs> Wrap it before you tap it and such. <laughs> what does this change? Oh, oh, uh, yourself. Tony is off, I think. Um, Good night, Tony. Oh, happy Father's Day to all the dads and happy anniversary to Barry, says Tony. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good point. Happy Father's Day. Uh, in the UK, it's Father's Day now. Um, we're in now, we're, now we're on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah heather says yeah cheddar cheese crackers shaped like little fish so that's what your goldfish are isn't it those those tiny little yeah crackers. yeah um yeah they're quite salad. Good. Hmm? you put them on salad too they're so good oh, on salad. oh i did yeah and when i worked i worked on a couple of cruise ships and they used to have them in the because it was all americanized they'd have them on the bar and you just help yourself like and there was loads of there were always like loads of them but when, yeah. you, had drink, when you had a drink you're like you can't stop can you but yeah. good. it's difficult not to just eat a ridiculous amount yeah oh chris said you went to a doctor to get thin that's true but also if i just wanked and didn't go to the doctor i still would not have had thin. <laughs> <laughs> um John Snow says, Goldfish had me worried. Fish called Wonder Style. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. no. Eating fish. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so Tony's off to bed. It says, Great stream, you naughty people. <laughs> Jackie's got to go. Husband's asking me to join him for dinner night all night. Um, yeah, I might. Uh, I might call an end to it now because I'm kind of like ah. and what's the time yeah it's like half past one oh. now so yeah. I might put an end to it. so thank you so much Hilary it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun I, I, I feel like I blushed a lot <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it I couldn't see it so. yeah. it's these lights <laughs> I never ever thought in a million years we'd be saying um, speech wank and uh, yeah, very <laughs> and in depth, <laughs> in the woods and, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching hentai porn, wear Peter Carter's fragrance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Peter. I love to let him know. <laughs> I oh, we featured you in a video. <laughs> Oh, he won't mind. He won't mind. So, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. And thank you so much, Hilary, for being on. And we'll see you all soon. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you, Sina. Night, night. Night, night, Finn. Oh, bye, Finn. Okay, don't touch that. All right. Bye. 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 So, let's how do we do this end broadcast. Here we go. And, and.